guys, welcome back to Bella Boo's Lunches. If you're new, welcome. welcome. <laughs> My name is Amy, that was Bella. Uh, she's actually busy doing some chores, so she's not gonna help me out with this Q&A, but I am going to answer most of all the questions that I found in my comment section, as well as maybe a few most asked questions that I get. I'll try to remember those and answer those as well towards the end. So the first question that I have is what's your favorite lunch to make? I don't really have a favorite lunch. I like playing with food and just having fun with it. So I like them all. Uh, and then she says, I hope you and Bella are staying safe. Thank you. We are definitely trying. Uh, the next question is where do y'all live? We live in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. What is my favorite food? My favorite food is spaghetti. Would you consider doing a switcheroo day? Let Bella prepare a lunch for you and then show us what you ate. I love that idea. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. I'm sure Bella will be on board too. The next question is how many kids do I have? I have one, one kid, just Bella. I always think it'd be kind of weird if I had like, let's imagine I had a whole bunch of children but I only ever talked about Bella, my other kids would feel so sad. I don't have any other kids, so nobody else is feeling sad. Uh, this one says, do you leave the apples in the water slash lemon juice when you put them in the fridge and how long do they last usually? Okay, so this is for when I cut up apples. I usually cut up a bunch of apples at one time, at least I try to, and then I will put them in a bowl of lemon juice and water. I let them sit in the lemon juice and water just for a few minutes, maybe just like while I'm cleaning up my mess. Then I take them out and I will let them dry either in a strainer or I'll cut them dry with a paper towel. Then I store them in a Ziploc or a little container and throw them in the fridge, that's it. So you're not storing them in the water to answer your question quickly. And they will typically, from what I've read, they last five to seven days. However, we've never had them last that long only because Bella will eat them before they get to day five. We're usually gone by day three, maybe four, but they typically get eaten way too quick here. Do you think Bella will be your only child? Probably. Do you guys do homeschool? We don't do homeschool throughout the year. We're only doing it because the schools are now closed, but we are doing remote learning. So kind of homeschool. If we're quarantined, why do you put her lunch in a lunchbox? Uh, for a couple reasons, and I explained this in a video already. I don't know if it was before or after her comment. Uh, the reason I put her lunch still in the bento style lunchbox, and I do this when we travel too, is I'll use the bento lunches. And that's simply because it separates the food. First of all, she doesn't like her food to touch, so it separates it. Also, it's the same, it's actually less dishes. So if I was gonna serve her a peanut butter sandwich, some yogurt and some applesauce, she would want her peanut butter sandwich on a plate. She would want her yogurt in a bowl. She'd want her applesauce in another bowl. So that's three dishes there. The bento box is two dishes max. It's the, the outside shell and then it's the inside tray. So it actually saves me on dishes and they're super easy to clean. So that's why I'm still using the bento box. Plus you guys are used to it. So why should I change it? Does Bella have any siblings? We kind of already went over that. No, she does not. Well, not really, I guess she, her dad could have children and her dad's not married and so he does not have any other kids through a marriage, uh, nor has he created any other kids that I know of at least. No, I'm kidding. Uh, no, so Bella does not have any other siblings. What inspired you to make cute lunches for Bella? I don't know honestly that I was inspired. It kind of came out of uh, sadness because I didn't want her to go to kindergarten. I didn't want her to go. I wanted her to stay with me, but uh, she was really excited to go to kindergarten. So I thought I would pack her cute lunches and if only for that little lunch period throughout the day, if she just would know that I loved her and was thinking about her, maybe that would help. So if she's having a hard day, she would open her lunchbox and know her mom made her this lunch. Did it work? Who 
who knows I have no idea I based oh she says it did I was basically doing it for myself because it was getting me through that lunch period that she wasn't with me a question I've been wanting to ask is does Bella want any siblings evidently she does she told me tonight that she would like to have a little sister uh, do you plan on having more kids later on in life probably not like 90% no maybe 10% yes it depends I mean if I met somebody tomorrow and they wanted kids we would discuss that and talk about that but um, as of like right now right this moment in my life no I'm content with where I'm at how are you and Bella doing with all this stuff going on you know I think we're doing okay I think it's a day-by-day -day thing some days are better than others but I think we're doing okay how how are you guys doing it's it's hard isn't it I mean I was just thinking how simple life used to be and we had no idea it's how you kind of take things for granted like when you're sick and you're like okay next time I can actually breathe through my nose I'm gonna appreciate it that's how it is now when we go outside it's like next time when we go outside without a mask on and without having to come in and fully strip and wash our hands and wash our hair and be totally paranoid that there's something on the bottom of our shoes <sighs> just want those days back but yeah I don't know when they're gonna come back if they said it can take years like I, you guys I don't know if I can stand this for years this is a it's a lot of work right right are you all wearing masks I hope you're wearing masks people give me the weirdest looks and I don't understand it with that darn mask because I'm not wearing the mask for me it does nothing to protect me I'm wearing it in case I have something so I'm wearing it to protect you. That's what I want to say to all of them. But it's really hard to talk in those masks. And I'm not very confrontational. So I just look at them like this. No, it's more like this. You're welcome. You are welcome. That's, that's what I look like. <laughs> what is your favorite recipe to make? This is the easiest question ever. Because my favorite recipe, I'm going to link it up here. Up here? Or up here? I think it's up here in the i card it is applebee's fiesta lime chicken it is so good you are going to want to make it and i have two hacks for you really quick hacks so it's kind of a long process to make it worth every single step i promise you it's so good i make it over and over and over and over again i crave it and i have to make it so here's how you're going to make it uh quicker so you're when you make your first recipe you are gonna double the marinade, triple the marinade, do whatever you want. Just double it until you trust me that it's actually really super good. This is my sister's hack, cause she made it and she's, this is what she does. And so now this is what I do. So you're gonna double the marinade. So when you're measuring out all of your ingredients, measure one into a bowl, one into a Ziploc, put the one in the Ziploc into your freezer. And next time you're gonna go and make the Fiesta Lime chicken, you can just grab the marinade out of your freezer and you have to measure all the ingredients again. Hack number two is uh, instead of making, there's like a fiesta, it's like a sauce kind of that you put over it. It's like a sour cream thing and it has a lot of steps to that as well. One way to like cut your time in half with making that is by fiesta line, no, it's called fiesta dip from Tastefully Simple. Find a Tastefully Simple consultant. If you don't have one, ask me. I have one I will give you her name and her information she will send it out to you you can just PayPal her she'll send you an invoice something you can just use that make it just like it is on the package and then oh, put that on top of your chicken it is so good and yeah you can use that for a dip too but anyway that fiesta lime chicken is my favorite recipe to make uh, this question is I think they're trying to figure out how old I am by this it is how old is Bella and how old were you when you had her. Bella is nine. I had her when I was 29. What is something that you and Bella like doing in your free time? We love to travel. Mm -hmm. Even if it's just four hours away. In fact, that's what most of our trips are. We just go to the cities and hang out for a weekend and then come back. And it's just like something to just refresh your bones. Florida is probably our favorite far destination that we've gone on. Uh, we also really like going to Wisconsin. We go there every year. I don't know if we're going to make it there this year or not, but Wisconsin is also 
high on our list. So a lot of the Midwest and then there's Florida. Um, we also are hoping to go to California this year, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Does Bella's dad live with you guys and are you married? Nope, he does not live with us and no, I am not married. Do I let Bella choose what is in her lunch or just a special treat? She pretty much knows what she's going to get in her lunches because we shop for the groceries together. So I will ask her when I'm shopping uh, online nowadays uh, what she is going to want for the week and then I will order that. Uh, and have that picked up so unless she tells me I want a ham sandwich tomorrow or I want a peanut butter sandwich tomorrow other than that I just kind of pack her whatever what is your favorite game to play during quarantine I would probably say the nerf gun we like to line up things onto my rower and then shoot them off um, we also put words onto the wall some are spelled right some are spelled wrong and then whatever word you hit with your little nerf thing and you have to use it in a sentence and then spell it correctly if it's incorrectly spelled. Or you have to say it's already spelled correctly and then it, it's easy to spell it because it's right in front of you. Nerf guns. That's our, oh, you know what else? We also bought this game where it is, it's like a poo game. It's called Don't Step In It. And you make poo out of Play-Doh and then you have to like walk blindfolded across this mat and try not to step in the poo. But... It's made out of Play-Doh, so it feels really good to squish it. So I like stepping in it. <laughs> That's wrong with me. A worst quarantine mishap? I don't think we've had any yet. Not that I can think of. I did uh, rip part of my nail off trying to open a pistachio, but other than that, I don't think anything. Aviana, I think that's how you say your name. She said, do you remember when I met you at Walmart a few years ago? Yes, I do remember. You were, I think, the second person to ever recognize us in public. This one says, what are you and Bella doing different to keep busy during the stay at home order? Honestly, I've been buying a lot of things on Amazon. I bought a Revlon uh, paraffin wax hand dipper thing. I bought a disco ball. I bought that don't step in it game. Um, what else have I bought? Here's our Nerf guns. Um, so like nothing even really fancy, just easy. Yeah, Nerf guns. Oh, I bought markers so we can paint on our windows. They're like chalk markers. These are the markers. They're called, I don't know. This is what they look like. They're kind of expensive. I think they're like $30 maybe. But I will link them down below if you're interested. Do you ever think about how you will feel making lunches when Bella gets a little older? Whoops. Um, I think we'll just see what happens. Uh, everything is always evolving and changing, so we'll see where things are. But right now, Bella's really enjoying them, so we'll probably just stick to making them until something else evolves and changes from there. Uh, another really popular question, if Bella was in speech therapy, yes, she is in speech therapy. Uh, do I get along with my ex-in-laws? I do. Uh, what's another question? Does Bella get to see her dad? She does. So. He's still very much in her life. He just doesn't live here because we're divorced. Also, he moved to another state, so he lives back where he grew up. So that is where he is. Uh, we do go and visit him. We also go and visit her grandparents, his parents. I think that's it. I think that's all the questions. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have other questions for us, leave them in the comments down below and I will try to answer them. So thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.